Hello and welcome to this course on HTML. My name is Ethan and I'll be guiding you through this. What is HTML? HTML is the language used by browsers. The browsers use this language to know how to display information. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is the standard for all browsers, for all modern browsers. So every uh, website out there uses HTML to display its information. So I, I went ahead and created uh, a simple website here to show you what we're going to be creating. So this is uh, pretty standard. There's a title, a subtitle here, and uh, uh, it's a menu right here. You click there, you go to page two, and back, you click on an image and it shows you the full size image, and so on. So let's dive in and create this. So what do you need in order to create a website? You need a text editor. In this case, we'll be using Notepad because everyone has Notepad. Okay, then we'll be using a browser to see what we are doing. So we'll have a browser on this other side. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, we'll have a browser on this other side. This side will be uh, working. So HTML is a language that uses tags, uh, as in T-A-G-S, tags. So what is a tag anyway? As long as you put uh, text or a word inside anchor brackets, <coughs> excuse me, it becomes a tag like that. So HTML, that is a tag right there. As long as it's got uh, opening anchor bracket and closing anchor bracket, any word in between here, becomes a tag. So you can put any word here and it will be recognized as a tag. But this is only uh, the opening tag. You need to close a tag. So how do you close a tag? You write it exactly the same way except you add uh, this right there, a slash. So this becomes the opening, this becomes the closing. Think of tags as containers, you know, they contain information. So in between this tag I can write uh, some text. So this text now is contained in this container called HTML. So the browser, when it looks at this, it will know that, okay, this text is inside this container that starts here and ends there. Okay. Now there are tags that uh, a web browser will recognize right off the bat. Like for example, HTML is a recognized word in uh, uh, this thing. So I, I got actually a list. Um, there we go. So this is uh, how a standard website should be started. So you have your HTML opening tag and the HTML closing tag. In between, you've got an opening head tag and a closing head tag, then an opening body tag, closing body tag. So once you have this, you have a website. So let us uh, let me just copy this information to avoid typing. So this new document we created, let me uh, paste that in there. So let's save this. Uh, you should type this information you see here in your notepad so you can follow along. So let me save this. So you have to get in a good practice of uh, creating folders uh, so you don't get confused if you're creating multiple websites. So let's create a folder called web. There we go. Now the home page uh, of your website should always be named home, either home or index. I like index better, I don't know why. But as long as at the end you say .html, that's very important, otherwise it won't be recognized as a website. Then make sure here you say uh, you, you select all files to avoid it adding the .txt extension at the end. So let's save. So what exactly have we done? We've created a folder right here. And inside this folder, we've created a page called index. So there it is. And you can see just because we've added the .html, it's recognized as a Mozilla Firefox uh, file. So let's double click and open that. So as you can see now, there's nothing displaying here. And yet, we actually have information on it. So oh, sorry, this is not the one. There we go. Let me just close that. So yeah, exactly. We have all this text, but it's not showing here. Why is this? It's simple because uh, these tags are used by the browser to know how to display information. They are not the information itself. They're just information for the browser to know how to display any information in between these tags. So a thing to note here is that if you go to any browser, open any website and right click on an empty area, you see where it says view page source. And if you click that, it's going to show you the source of the page, the HTML that is creating that page. So in this case, you can see all this HTML, exactly what I typed in the notepad is showing here. So let's uh, just close that. So if I happen to type anything in the body, the body here is uh, where all the information is going to reside. So let's type something like, uh, welcome to my website. Okay, we save that. And when we refresh the page here, you see welcome to my website right there as uh, we would predict. So these are not the only tags. Um, oh, by the way, uh, on top here, you can see it's showing um, the file name of this uh, website. So we can give uh, the browser information on what to display here by going to the head 
and in the head we create a tag called title and then we close it title like that so as soon as the browser sees this it will know that whatever information is in between here should be displayed at the top there so let's write something like my website and save that refresh and you see right there it changes to my website and yet you can't see this text here because the browser is only using this text to know what to display here on the top that's how tags work so there are more than one uh, tag that you can use obviously uh, this is a list of tags that we'll be using to create our website so let me go through, uh, through these uh, real quick this one is called the header tag uh, it's got a, a number here you see it's h1 because you can go up to six you can say h1 h2 h3 up to six so let's uh, let's try that out right here <coughs> sorry i have a flu uh, so we go to where it says welcome to my website and then let me just paste the h1 here and let me paste the closing h1 tag at the end of this text uh, let me save that and refresh the browser and see what happens immediately you see the text has grown bigger and it's bolder this is because as soon as the website sees h1 it knows okay this is a title this is a heading uh, heading one so it should be displayed in this manner if i go down to let's say h3 uh, h3 and you have to make sure whatever uh, word is in here is exactly the same word in the closing in the opening and in the closing should be exactly the same word otherwise this will be a different tag opening tag this will be a different closing tag and it won't work so let's do that and refresh and right off the bat you see the text becomes smaller because it's now an h3 so it keeps getting smaller as it goes down so let's just leave it back at h1 and refresh there we go so the next one is the um, the paragraph uh, tag so let me get that it's denoted by that p so let me get that and type something uh, below here let's say um, my oh sorry cool website like that so i'm using the tab key to indent this so they look a bit neat so I'll paste the p there opening tag and paste the closing p tag so as soon as the browser sees this it's going to know this is a paragraph so let me refresh that and you see what happens welcome to my website and then there's a paragraph here it leaves this space in between because it knows this is a new paragraph okay so moving on um, we have the next um, now this one is for creating a link this a tag is for creating links so let's uh, check this out how do we use this so as you saw on uh, uh, the website that we are copying there was a link called page 2 so let me just create the text uh, in capital letters uh, page 2 right there so if I refresh my page here I'll see page 2 there but it's not clickable so if I want to make this into a link all I need to do is use the a tag so the a tag is right here let me copy that let me copy the opening a tag put it at the beginning of the word uh, so I have to put the text that I want to be a link I have to put it in between this a tag okay so if I refresh the page nothing happens why because we haven't specified where this link goes so how do we do that we are going to add an attribute in this tag so these tags uh, the opening tags you can add attributes to them to describe how exactly to display this information even though it's already a, a tag here but at least for example the text color if you want to change the text color you can specify it inside the opening tag so let's do that right now now to specify where a link goes you have to type this exactly href like that equals and then you put two inverted commas like that this is how all attributes uh, will look like kind of uh, there will be the name of the attribute the echo sign and the value of the attribute right here so this href is uh, uh, short short for hyper uh, text reference or something like that so now as soon as I do this if I refresh the page and you see this uh, it becomes a link which I can actually click but since there's no page 2 it's actually not showing me where it should go it just uh, refreshes the same page so in order to tell it where we want to go we can say something like page 2 dot HTML make sure you type the full path and the file extension as well this is very important otherwise it will say page not found so if I click on here now uh, let me refresh that and click there it takes me to page 2 but since page 2 does not exist it will say file not found so let's go back for now and let's move on to the next tag the next tag is called um, the image tag now this image tag the IMG tag uh, sorry is what we use to display images so let me copy this and uh, 
paste it in our project. Uh, let me move it a little bit inside. Okay, there we go. So this is the image tag. If I save this and refresh, again, you see nothing here because I haven't specified uh, uh, where this image is going to be taken from. Now, you notice one thing uh, right here. This image tag doesn't have a closing image tag. Why is this? It's because if I put a uh, closing image tag like that, there's no information that I need to add in between here. So it becomes useless to have an opening and closing tag because this is uh, displaying an image only. So this is what we call a self-closing tag. It's supposed to be opening and closing, but it closes itself like that. So we can leave spaces in between here to put attributes like this one. So how do we tell uh, the browser where the image is going to come from? So the first thing we need to do is source those images. So I've got a couple of images on my desktop right here. There's two, uh, four, one, and three. So let me select these uh, and copy. Go to my web browser. I have to make sure these images are in the same place as where my uh, index page is. So let me paste those. And there we are. We have the images. So they, I have to take note of the names.